Hi, hope you're having an amazing day. As you saw from the title of this video, today we're going to be doing a full face of Shot Miss A using some new makeup. So we do have like their new setting spray. We have a new primer. We have some like eye primers. We also have a new face primer, which is their grouping primer. We have a lot of products to play with. Some foundations, a new highlight, new mascara, new liquid blushes, everything. So if you want to see everything that I use, my thoughts on everything, what I loved and what I hated, just keep on watching. <music> Alrighty, so we're gonna start off with this product first that it was to do sculpt my brow clear pomade which is meant to smooth hold and shape the brows it says to apply a small amount using a brow brush or spoolie brush through the brow shape and style brows into place so this is what we're gonna go ahead and take first but before that I kind of want to try this out this is a was studio mood glow product this is a color changing lip oil so i kind of want to test this first to be honest it looks so nice i love that it's like super long and the cap is pink it looks so cute it's like a slight smell to it, it smells really nice okay it's a little thick vibes interesting just gonna leave that on and see what it does next we're again taking the clear pomade i'm feeling a little bit of tingling i don't think i should be i don't know um but i am gonna take a spoolie into the the product oh it's like a jelly almost and sweeping it right through the brows now this is not a product that i typically go in with as you guys know i'm just gonna kind of move them the opposite direction to get that product really into the brow it's like those little like spatula things i use to like mix products and i'm just gonna press the brows down with this a one brow with the product one brow without hmm okay we're definitely gonna have to see if there's a difference once the actual eyebrow products go on i'm gonna throw a little less on the other eyebrow for the lip oil it's honestly already starting to work you can see a little bit of a pink tint to my lips it honestly looks really nice i didn't think it was going to be that thick it feels really thick when it's going on but honestly it looks really cute so we're going to go ahead and move on to the rest of the brows we have two of my favorite products you guys know it was pseudo micro brow pen in the shade dark brown and the easy brow styler which both of these are actually in my shot my stash and i filmed that yesterday completely forgot to include these but these are actually really good so we're gonna go ahead and use the easy brow styler to shape as you guys know there's a look at that almost like a teardrop shape product i feel like the shade dark brown works really well with my hair so we're gonna see how this goes now that that other product is in the brows you know that was a quick and easy it actually went on so effortlessly taking the micro brow pen just to fill them in but girl that was the quickest brow i've ever thrown on because there's a little bit of that tackiness from the other product but i thought it was gonna stay like greasy but no interesting brows girl what wow brows are looking pretty good to be honest that was so quick and easy so for primer i did go ahead and pick up two different ones we have the no pore face primer which this is actually the one that i was trying to get the last um shamase haul gosh which long time ago because they had repackaged it they sent me the same product i believe it's just the same product it's probably just a little more updated but yeah there's a look at the old packaging versus the new packaging i do want to do a couple comparisons with this product over on my tiktok so definitely follow me over there if you want to watch that we also have the aoe pseudo cosmic cowgirl skin grip primer so interesting so definitely had to pick this up as well so we could see what this can do and the no pore one so it is more on the silicone side it even does say it in the back a silicone based primer that minimizes appearance of pores mattifies the skin and creates a smooth canvas to wear alone or for makeup application which is really interesting and then we have this product which is a weightless gripping primer for lasting makeup it says this weightless liquid perfecting primer grips makeup making your makeup last longer blur the look of pores also pore filling 
um, fine lines and wrinkles and textured skin for the perfect canvas before makeup that leaves a matte finish awesome and works for all skin types so I do have oily skin as you guys know it says how to use apply to clean moisturize skin before concealer foundation or setting powder so that sounds pretty good to me so interesting let me know if yours looks like this or did mine just like get squished interesting so it's like a white moment it has like the slightest scent to it Ooh. oh oh it, it smells like the clean slate primer if you if you own that one okay it's starting to dry down a little bit feeling just a little bit of a grip to the skin but it smells amazing girl it smells so good but there's the primer on the skin i'm also going to take Oh, you see this one's completely different very much silicone vibes this one i'm gonna take it over top this one does spread out a little more so i kind of want to target those areas where the other primer didn't really like go and i'm shocked that the no pore primer is not peeling over top the gripping you guys know as a gripping primer they tend to dry down be more on that sticky side so products like this would peel over top but no it's actually going on really nicely over top all right so we do have two different foundations here we have the a2o lab soft matte foundation and this one did retail for four dollars in the shade m3 it says liquid pump um soft matte foundation a2o lab i've actually I think these are this is a brand that has like those big eyeshadow palettes as you guys know from the site so they did come out with the foundation and i felt like this one here would match me the best hopefully it does um but this is for flawlessly filtered skin a lightweight breathable foundation that smooths the skin it says it has a soft matte finish sensory friendly and for all skin types and then we also have this AOA Studio one, which is also, it says matte vision and it's high definition foundation. So I wanted to see which one matches me best. I kind of want to test them out on the skin and see which one I'm going to throw on for the rest of the day. But in the back, it just basically says matte, camera ready, HD, high definition. And that's all it says. Um, but it is cruelty free. And there's a look at this foundation. This one here, honestly, I don't know what, oh. I got it in the shade T1. Says it on the bottom. So there's a look at that. There's a look at the A2O foundation, which honestly already looks like it's been used. Why is that already kind of raised? I don't know. But it does come with a pump. And let's take a look at this shade. So again, this is in M3 from A2O. And we have, oh gosh, this one here. AOA Studio one. I'm kind of leaning towards the A2O one, color-wise, because this T1 is a little too dark for me. So we are not gonna go in with this one today, um, but I am gonna go ahead and just throw on the A2O one, and we're gonna see how this works. After removing the lip oil, you do get a little bit of a stain left behind, which honestly looks really nice. That's so cute. I think it even has a little bit of a plumping effect into it. I need to research but it literally felt like it was kind of like stinging a little bit nothing crazy but my lips do look a little bigger or is it just me i don't know well, let's blend it in so quick and easy and the color honestly is looking <laughs> pretty good so there is one layer of the foundation honestly it's looking really nice a little bit radiant even girl the shade match is actually pretty good I am going to build it up just a little bit so i'm going to take more and just kind of target those like center areas i want to see how much i can build this up all right and there is layer number two. Ooh, that looks so nice i'm really impressed so we're gonna see how this wears throughout the day but honestly this looks i'm like blown away right now next we have a cream blush we actually have two different ones here we have the awa studio color flush liquid blush which you guys know i own a couple of like orangey shades they did come out with a little bit of a like pink kind of moment which is this one here in the shade golden oak it looks stunning and then they also did come out with a couple other shades as well and i did pick up one more shade which is more on the deeper side that we have for this side of the face so i'm just gonna throw a little bit on Let's go ahead and blend it in. 
Ooh. Oh, this is pigmented girl. That looks stunning. I also have this Evanesian Romance Creamy Blush. And this one here is in the shade Vanity. Which I also do own a more like purple tone. But this is definitely more on the vibrant pink side. So I'm going to take that on my finger. And these are extremely pigmented as well. So let's see how this shade looks on this side. Definitely if you're on the market for a cream blush... These are super inexpensive. Both of them are honestly amazing. So you just take your pick on which one calls out to you the most if you're into pinky cream blushes. Both of them are 10 out of 10, girl. They look so good. This is the other one that I own. This one here is in the shade Duchess. As you can see, it is more on that purple side opposed to vanity which is more on the pink so there's a comparison of both of these they also do have cream bronzers which i do own as well and this one here is in the shade canal which these girl these are so pigmented so keep that in mind but so good all right next we have a concealer from aoa studio and this is their flawless liquid concealer in what shade are you m1 it's not like too light on me Ooh um yeah it's looking a little light vibes let me go ahead and blend in this side here all right there's a one side with the concealer and the other without that honestly looks really cute okay we're gonna go ahead and throw it on the other side as well but it is a tad light for me and my preferences when it comes to concealers but it honestly looks really nice and it did brighten up the area i also went ahead and picked up uh, some of their new eyeshadow primers so i'm just going to go ahead and throw a little bit over top so first off we have the aoa studio soft base nude eye primer i don't know why i purchased these i literally decluttered all my other primers for my eyes but i don't know we're gonna go ahead and see what this can do this is meant to control oil prevents fading and creasing it also does boost colors long wearing smoothing and it is vegan as well there's a look at that it looks clear no so i'm gonna throw some of that on this side here oh it is like drippy vibe so it's a little messy let me go ahead and blend that right in and i like to do this over top a like wet foundation so it doesn't get all like weird and mushy over top like powdered skin i don't know we also have the aoa studio shadow stay eyeshadow primer both of them from aoa no this is the a plus and this is the just aoa studio one here and this one here is in the shade natural definitely more lightweight if you want more coverage i definitely would recommend go with the a plus one because i did get more coverage here and this one feels more lightweight and almost greasy vibes yeah i'm not loving that so yeah definitely recommend the other one versus this one nah we have two new powders we have the aoa studio perfect finishing pressed powder in the shade translucent and we also have one of their new loose powders this is their flawless setting and finishing loose powder in the shade medium which honestly i thought it was going to be a little bigger but so cute it's teeny tiny and it does come with four different shades in here and i think it comes in maybe three variations so i'm going to take the translucent powder first to set the under eyes real quick here's a close-up look at that loose powder and the different shades that are in here looks so cool and just taking that all over the face also just going to sweep some of the translucent one over top as well just to kind of really like set it in taking an oldie but goodie the aoa studio perfect bronzer powder in the shade latte gonna use that oh these are really pigmented so be careful i'm just gonna use that to bronze up the skin for today's blush we're gonna take the aoa studio perfect blush in the shade of frenzy which is a beautiful pinky tone stunning it's just gonna go really well with my sweater so cute girl these are so 
pigmented and they're super inexpensive on the site so pretty before i go in and tone it down a bit i also did purchase another one of these highlights these are the everglow highlights in twilight which is their white one here I also do have two other shades here we have the shade magic hour which looks like so and also the shade morning star so i want to take some of this and see Ooh. so nice it's definitely not my most favorite highlight formula i've mentioned it in a couple other videos but it's honestly really up there it's it's nice it's pigmented it was really quick and easy to throw on Ooh, and i'm telling you, it comes in various colors stunning so i did go ahead and fill in the brows just a little bit just to kind of perfect them a bit we're gonna go ahead and take the easy brow gel in the shade dark brown just to set them over top a little bit because i don't want my brows to look too brown for today's eyeshadow i do have the oldie but goodie it was studio eyeshadow trio this one here is in the shade peace and love which is definitely the one with the more like pinky tones and this also is all like shimmer shades so no mattes today and i also do have one of the magical girl liquid eyeshadows from aoe studio in the shade kira kira which looks to be such a beautiful tone so just to throw over top and we're gonna see how this works as well I love the packaging, how it looks like almost slanted. It looks really cute. I'm going to go right in with a deep shimmer. And just start like blending that out. Oh, I am getting fallout. Which is expected. It's a shimmer shade. I'm just going to go ahead and take this shade here on the lid. Just to kind of prep it before that liquid shadow goes on. And it is raining outside if you hear water. That's what's going on. Taking some of that liquid shadow right over top. And I kind of want to like blend that right in. For a liquid liner, I did go ahead and pick up two liquid liners. We have the AW Studio liquid eyeliner from the a Cosmic Cowgirl line, which looks like that. And we also have the Magical Girl liquid liner so interesting interesting not my most favorite type of eyeliner to throw on but there's a look at this applicator here they're probably the same so this is all one dip i haven't even dipped back into that little pot all right so there's the cosmic cowgirl side now let's see if i can mimic it on the other with the magical girl side this one's definitely more elongated like it looks longer there is the magical girl side i honestly feel like this one here on this side is definitely more messy the formula is definitely different from what i felt as i was applying them but both of them are really cute if you're looking for an eyeliner for me i definitely prefer the cosmic girl applicator i feel like it's much smaller and Honestly, I'm surprised I prefer this one more, but it's just more controlled and I really like the formula of this one way more. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of like shape them out so they can look similar vibes because they're looking a little different. But definitely this one looks way more clean and just more crisp opposed to this one. It just feels a little more messy vibes. We have two mascaras here. Both of them are actually repurchases. The Tall Lash Mascara, as you guys recall, I think they actually did change the packaging up a bit um, but this is their lengthening precision wand mascara in the shade dark brown <gasps> i forgot i bought it in dark brown we also have the ewa studio curl mascara which is also a lifting mascara repurchase i'm going to show you guys this one here but i'm not going to use it because they are different i forgot that i purchased it in dark brown but this one is very interesting comes with a plastic kind of moment teeny tiny little bristles um, but again, I'm not going to use this today because I completely forgot I bought it in dark brown. So we're going to stick with the curl mascara, but I am going to curl my lashes up a bit. So if you've never seen this one here, oh wow, there's a look at the wand. Super curved. Look at that mascara. Mm. I don't remember the actual wand being this curved, but 
interesting i'm gonna go ahead and throw on a falsies at the end but we do have a couple of products here to throw on first off ebony york auto lip liner in the sheet brown as always all right next taking the venetian romance lipstick here in the sheet folly and girl this packaging i feel like they really stepped it up like you have to like twist it it does retail for 188 but twist it and then there's the lipstick and the actual like product itself is a little weighted there's a shade folly it looks stunning oh it's really matte girl Ooh, there's a sheet there like no no moisture at all which honestly could be a good thing so it doesn't move but it is a little drying as you can tell it's already getting into my fine like creases on the lips and such but girl this shade combination looks I'm going to throw on some gloss. I'm taking the Candy Pop Lip Gloss in the shade Bubble. And again, I am going to throw on falsies, but I'm just going to go ahead and set the face using the Lock In Your Makeup Setting Spray. It is a new and improved setting spray. As you guys know, I do have my old one right next to me. Let me grab it. Look at this one here. This is the A Plus Oil Control Setting Spray, which honestly didn't really do much. But this is also from A Plus, but I believe this one is just like a new and improved formula. Um, and it says, after applying your makeup, shake the bottle well, hold A Plus Setting Spray 10 inches from your face, and spray several times and allow to dry. So, yeah, there's a difference of these two. Making it heard a lot of good things about this setting spray as well and girl it took a while to get it because it was out of stock for a long time but finally it's here it does go along with the primer part of that like purple line as well as the base so cute oh it smells pretty good it smells like their other setting spray I'm just gonna let that dry hey guys so this is the final look let me know your thoughts down below i honestly really much enjoyed everything that we used today everything looks so good foundation honestly looks really nice like a nice color match i feel and the powder is also really amazing so a lot of these products honestly worked out really well i will be updating you guys on all of these products in an upcoming video so definitely stick around subscribe if you want to see some of my past drama say videos i'm going to have them linked down below if you didn't watch my haul video it's going to be down there as well so yeah super exciting i really love how everything came out and i'll definitely be updating you guys in a future videos on how all of this war what's going on what's happening how i like these products and i will be ranking them soon as well so of course don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave and i'll see you guys in the next one bye